Hello, I'm going to show you how to increase some color in this photo while not overdoing it. I'm also going to show you how to just brighten up a little bit, change the contrast, and you know, you can put your own feel on it. So here we have a photo of a sunset. Looks pretty nice, but in my opinion, it could use a little more color. So let's duplicate the background first. So we're going to right click on it. And we're going to say duplicate layer right there. That way we're not actually messing up or doing anything. Honestly, what we're doing though, is we're not actually going to be doing anything to this specific layer, but sometimes I like to just duplicate the layer. Okay. It's just common practice. So the next thing we can do is put an adjustment layer and we're going to look for vibrance. So Right here, we see two controls here. We see vibrance and we see saturation. I'm going to show you what happens when we put the saturation up. It's going to increase the color. However, if you look at it, it, it kind of does it a little bit too intense. Like, okay. So, you know, using the saturation does work. You have to use it very sparingly, in my opinion. Otherwise, it doesn't look natural unless you're trying to make something look unnatural. Now, the vibrance is only going to pick the different colors that needs more saturation while trying not to overdo it. It's great for portraits. So if you want to, you know, create more color in, in a, a picture with a person, it tries to protect the skin colors. So let's increase the vibrance on this. And, you know, honestly, going all the way up at 100%, in my opinion, is not too empowering. You can also bring it down too. So if you want to kind of create more of a monotone color. So I'm just going to have it pretty high like that. And then I'm going to just click this so that this goes back there. So you can see when I click on this little eye, it's going to hide the layer. And you can see how it gave a very subtle uh, increase to the color. It does not look or it does not look or it does not look or it does not so Let's add another adjustment layer. Let's add a brightness contrast. So again, it's adding um, a layer, an adjustment layer, and whatever's underneath, it's affecting that layer. So if you have a layer above this adjustment layer, it will not, it will not show. In fact, we can just bring this one above it, and you can see that's what it was before. But let's just keep it underneath. Again, we don't really need the duplicate layer, but I think it's good practice. So with the brightness contrast adjustment layer. I'm going to show you what happens when we bring the contrast all the way up or bring it all the way down. I think in this opinion, in my opinion, we could kind of lower the contrast a little bit. That's what it was. So I'm just going to lower it a little bit. And the brightness I'm going to bring up just a little bit, like right in there. So you can kind of do how much you think. If you want to give it a different feel, you can. But I think this looks kind of somewhat natural it has more color uh with the vibrance uh adjustment layer and then also it's it's been opened up a little bit where the brightness and the shadows have been opened up uh the, the contrast we have made the blacks less black by keeping this lower contrast and the brightness we have opened up the shadows and the brightness everything by coming up a little bit more again you can play with it but i think that looks good and that's how you can change the color and not make it too overpowering and kind of change the brightness and the contrast of a photo.